Hi, I'm Connor McClendon. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Last Friday, both the boys and girls indoor track teams took home first place at the PVAC Indoor Track Championships. This week, I talked to three seniors about running in the final season of their high school careers and their plans to run in the future. Um, in indoor track, I run the 300 and the 600, and I run, usually run the relays as well, the 4x2 four, four and 4x4. Four four. All right, so the relay team, obviously very dominant. You won by a mile in your meet against Longmeadow on senior night, so can you talk a little bit about that team and what, how far you've come this season? We didn't really expect to run as well as we did. Um, we just kind of wanted to throw three three guys out there and then give Higgins the baton and see what happened. Um, it, was, it was unexpected, but it it worked because there was no obstruction with the handoffs. Having Nick lead off worked pretty well for that. You have the sweatshirt on. You're going to be running at Brandeis next year, so are you excited for that? I am excited. What did you like about their program? Um, the coaches are really, really good. They, uh, the head coach there was is a former Olympian, so she really clearly knows what she's doing. And um, I'm excited to learn because I think the training plan is going to be new, different, and probably pretty beneficial. I run the 600, and I'm also a high jumper, and then I'm on the 4x8 and 4x4 relays. Um, I, I'm mostly a 600 runner in the winter, but I do love high jump. It's sort of like the fun event I get to do. It was great to end on a win with Longmeadow. Um, that was exciting because that means that we are tied for league champs, so that's great going into postseason. It's kind of crazy thinking that it's coming to an end. Uh, you're going to Tufts to run track uh, next fall, so are you excited for that? Yeah, I'm really excited. As you get to being like a senior, it's hard to um, have the motivation without upperclassmen ahead to push you, so it's really nice to be going into a place where I'll definitely have that motivation and new, new coaches. I run mid-distance, so I do a lot of distance training, so mostly I race the 1,000 meter, um, but I also do run the 1 mile and the 4 by 800 relay. Um, I do the 1,000 most often and just had a PR in that, so that was very exciting. But what is it like knowing that your high school track career is kind of coming to a close? It's definitely bittersweet, um, and I'll really miss the team, but I'm looking forward to continuing to run in college. And it's been really nice this year to be able to take on a leadership role on the team. Last week, the wrestling team had their senior night here at the William Fiker Gymnasium. Seniors Jesse Evers and Alex Munier won their bouts and the loss to Westfield. Evers had to battle through a bloody nose to earn the victory in his bout. The boys' basketball team is playoff bound and they will have a home game tonight against West Springfield. The girls' team is also headed to the playoffs and Lorraine Jerwenson needs just one more point to reach 1,000 for her career. NHS senior Lily Etlinger was named to first team All-Western Mass for Division II girls swimming. Nick Whitcomb and Quinn Norton-Smith each took home two victories for the boys swimming team at the Western Mass Championships. Finally, the East Hampton ice hockey team beat Turner's Falls 6-3 in their final home game on Wednesday night.